stem cells. The stem cells are pluripotent and totipotent cells. The pluripotent means it can form any number of cells and totipotent cell means it can differentiate into any type of cells. Our body is actually uh, having a differentiated cells. So for the daily renovation and the formation of the new cells and for the repairing of the body, the stem cells are required because they are the pluripotent and totipotent cells. Now we will see the formation of the stem cells which are the pluripotent and totipotent cells from the embryo or during the development of the fetus. During the development of the fetus, the yolk sac has the capacity to form the stem cells and later this process of formation of the stem cells in the yolk sac is called as hemopoiesis. Later, during the development of the fetus from yolk sac, it is shifted to the liver where the hematopoiesis or the formation of the stem cells occur. And finally, when the baby is completely developed, during that period from the liver, it is transferred to the bone marrow. The bone marrow is the tissue that is very soft inside all the bones and that is why it is called as the bone marrow and it is having the capacity to form these stem cells and from the stem cells the lymphocytes, granulocytes, macrophages, RBC, platelets and different types of these cells are formed. And now we will see briefly about the stem cell formation and the different types of cells that origin from the stem cells. The stem cell which is present in the bone marrow is able to form the three types of cells that is the lymphoid DDH, myeloid DDH and erythroid DDH. From the lymphoid DDH, the lymphoid progenita cells are formed. The cells which are involved in the lymphocyte activity of a body that is immunity. So from the lymphoid progenita, we can see the formation of T lymphocytes B lymphocytes and null cells. The T lymphocyte is involved in the cell mediated immunity, and here the different types of T cells are present that is, TC cell or T cytotoxic cell, TH cell or T helper cell, TS cell or T suppressor cell, and TD cell or T delayed type hypersensitive cell. And these cells are involved in the production of lymphocytes and it is involved in the cell mediated immunity. And this B lymphocyte is involved in the production of plasma cells and memory cells. And this B lymphocyte DDH is involved in the humoral immunity. From the plasma cells, the five different types of immunoglobulins that is IgA, IgD, IgM, IgG and IgE are formed and they are all involved in the primary immune response and secondary immune response. And the memory cell that is formed from the B lymphocyte is involved in the secondary immune response and it produces the immunoglobulin during the secondary immune response. And so the T cell is mainly involved in the cell mediated immunity and B lymphocytes are involved in the humoral immunity. And the third type of cell called as a null cell which is neither like our, that of a T cell or B cell is formed from the lymphoid progenita and it is forming the natural killer cells and killer cells which is having the natural phagocytic activity and killer cell activity. So from the lymphoid DH, the lymphoid progenita cells are formed and from that the T lymphocyte, B lymphocyte and null cells are formed and from the null cells and the natural killer cells and the killer cells are formed. And from the stem cell, the next, from the myeloid DH, the myeloid progenita cells are formed. Actually from this myeloid pro progenita, the polymorphonuclear lymphocytes and monocytes are formed. The name is created by the presence of the different types of the nucleus that is the morphologically different nucleus is present and so it is formed as the polymorphonuclear lipocytes. and from this you can see the formation of eosinophils, basophils, neutrophils, mast cells and antigen presenting cells and also the megakaryocytes are also formed from the polymorphonuclear lipocytes. The eosinophil is chained by the eosin's chain 
and the basophil is stained by the basic dye and the neutrophil is neither uh, stained by the acid or the basic dye and so it is called as the neutrophil. The eosinophil, basophil and neutrophil all three are called as the WBC in common and that is the white blood corpuscles of the blood component. And the next thing is the mast cell and this is having the FC receptor for the immunoglobulin E and it is involved in the degranulation during the helminthic infections and antigen presenting cells. These cells are involved in the processing and presentation of the antigen to the all other T cells and B cells which are involved in the immunity. And next type of the cell from this polymorphonuclear leukocyte is megakaryocytes and from which the platelets are formed. The megakaryocyte means a large nucleus is present and this is involved in the blood clotting. And so from the myeloid lineage, myeloid progenitor and from that polymorphonuclear leukocytes and monocytes are formed and the polymorphonuclear leukocytes are forming the eosinophil, basophil, neutrophil, mast cell, antigen presenting cells and megakaryocyte. From the monocytes, the macrophages are formed. And the monocytes are short-lived cells which are seen in the blood for just 24 hours and after that it moves into the tissue or peritoneal cavity and there for longer periods. And the macrophages is of two types, fixed macrophages or free macrophages. The fixed macrophages will be seen fixed in the tissues called as the histiocytes or the brain called as the microglia and the free macrophages or the alveolar macrophages seen in the alveoli and then the peritoneal cavity and also the Kupfer cells that is seen in the liver. And so the macrophages are two different types that is free macrophages and fixed macrophages. So the myeloid progenitor forms the polymorphonuclear leukocytes and monocytes. And the last one is the erythroid damage. From this, the RBCs are formed. The RBCs are the cells which are carrying the oxygen and it is called as the red blood corpus cells. And its lifespan is for about 120 days. And after that, it goes to the spleen and gets renovated and so that is the spleen is the effect of RBC cells. That is the graveyard of RBC. Uh, so after 120 days, new cells has to be formed. So from this erythroid lineage only, the RBCs are renowned and it is formed and again and again in our body. So the stem cell, which is a pluripotent and protipotent cell, is able to form all the different types of cells. And our body is able to sustain, renovate and form the new cells by the presence of these stem cells which are pluripotent and protipotent in each. Thank you.